Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another Flutter tutorial video. In this video, we're gonna look at bottom navigation bar widget and we will create our own bottom navigation bar and we're gonna explore the different type of navigation uh, bar that we can use in Flutter and we will implement them in our demo application. So by the end of this video, you will be able to create a simple navigation bar, bottom navigation bar in your Flutter application and we'll also see the fixed type of button bottom navigation bar and we'll also check out the shifting types of button navigation bar and how it works so let me start by uh, giving you the demo of the application that we're going to build in this video so i'm going to open up my android studio and here you can see the simple bottom navigation bar so this is called fixed type bottom navigation bar so here you can see i have given the type as fixed in the fixed type of navigation bar we'll have these simple buttons in our bottom navigation bar here and if we click on this we can just uh, change the content according to the button clicked and it's not going to display any uh, animation we'll also see the other type that is shifting and by the way if you have the bottom navigation bar with less than three buttons if you have two or three buttons then it's going to automatically assume it as a fixed type button navigation bar and if we have the buttons more than three that is four then it's going to assume this button navigation bar as a shifting types but uh, we can also apply these properties using this type properties here we're gonna learn that in the development section but here i just want to give you the demo of the shifting button navigation bar so let me just change this from fixed to shifting and if i run this application let me just save it now only the selected menu is displaying the title and if i click on other items here and you can see we have this shifting animation you can see that right so yeah it's going to display that based on the type of our button navigation bar okay so this is the demo application that we're going to build so i'm going to close this demo application and create the new flutter project and click on next here i'm going to give some name and i'll click on finish and it's going to create the flutter project and it's going to take some time so i'm just going to pause the video and come back once this is ready all right the app is created now let's run this in our emulator so i'm just going to open up my emulator and run the application just to make sure that we have the default application running all right the application is running and now you can see the default flutter application and if i click on this button it's going to increase this number here all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all this default code we don't need it so from the my home page i'm gonna remove all the codes and here we're gonna create new screen so let's go to new dot file and create new screen that is home screen and we'll create stateful widget okay and here i'm gonna give the name for the screen as home because it's gonna be our home page and it's gonna be loaded when we open our application okay and import the required library that is material.dart and now let's go back to this main dot and remove this my home page reference instead we're going to use home reference okay now if i save this it's going to load this blank um, page because we do not have anything inside this home page right now so let's go and add some code here so I'm going to add scaffold because we need scaffold to be able to use the bottom navigation bar and I'm going to add some default app bar. So app bar will add some default app bar and set the title and title is going to be bottom navigation menu. Okay. When I save this, it's going to create this navigation bar for us and it's also going to set the uh, theme of this page. Okay and let me make this const okay so this is going to be constant and now what i'll do i'll add the body parameter and inside this body parameter i'm going to add some center text so center and this center child is going to have our text field so child now the text will be displayed here in the home page and since we have given the center widget it's going to center the text 
so let add let's add the const um, keyboard here we're gonna add the bottom navigation menu here now to be able to add the bottom navigation menu we need to add the bottom navigation bar properties here in the scaffold here the scaffold comes with the bottom navigation bar option just like the app bar properties here we can add the bottom navigation bar properties here and here we need to set the bottom navigation bar for our application so bottom navigation bar okay and each bottom navigation bar is going to have the bottom navigation bar item so let's add the items so we're gonna add these properties called items and inside this we will set the bottom navigation bar item so bottom navigation bar item and this bottom navigation bar uh, item takes two parameter that is icons and label so if we don't give any of this then it's going to throw error so let's set the icon first so we're, we're, we're going to access the icons library using icons widget so icon dot uh, so let me find some items that is home the properties is icon and inside this we're going to call load the home icon okay and here we need to set the label as well so we're gonna name this as home okay and if i save this right now it's gonna throw us error and the error says the item length should be greater or equal to two so we should have at least two items in our bottom navigation bar okay so if you try to add only one then it's gonna throw an error okay so let me add one more bottom navigation bar item so i'm just gonna copy and paste from the same navigation bar item that we have here okay and let me paste it and here i'm gonna add the comma actually i have to paste this inside the items list here okay and let me add the const keyword here as well to make this constant okay now let me change the icons so this is gonna be let's say messages menu and we'll add message icon okay so this is our icon now if i save this it's going to load the navigation bar here so you can see we have this navigation bar currently the click is not working i mean uh, it is not changing the selected menu we'll fix that later but right now the important part is we are getting this menu item here so let me add one more menu item for the profile section okay so let me add the profile and people icon okay and it's going to uh, display these three icons and three menu items here in the bottom navigation bar so this is our bottom navigation bar now we'll play around with other properties to make changes that as we require okay now the next thing that we need to work on is that now i want to highlight the another b menu item here if i click on this okay because right now it is only highlighting this home button so to highlight that we need to change the current index of this bottom navigation bar so let me add the properties current index here okay and here we need to set the index of currently selected bottom navigation bar item so let's say right now we have three items right so it is starting from 0 to 2 so if i give 1 and save it it's going to select the message it is because the position of message menu bar item is in one position that is this home is in zero position this is in one position and this is in second position right so if i give 2 it's going to select the profile so we need to figure out the way to change this current index um, item here a value of this current index based on the button click okay so uh, we can do so by creating a method here so let me go here and create a new void method and on item tapped okay and here we'll pass the index because when the button is clicked what i want to do is i want to get the index of the button that is uh, being clicked and i want to set that index to the current index here okay and so what i'll do is i'll set the state and uh, then i need to change the index of this current index uh, properties here okay so let me add one variable to keep track of the currently selected index so let me add current index equals to zero 
so we're going to start when we load this application we'll display that home is selected and based on the button is clicked we're going to change the index of this item here this variable so i'm going to do is current index equals to i'm just going to assign that to the index i want to set the value of this current index to the currently selected bar navigation bar item so here instead of giving hard-coded uh, number here i want to pass the current index so now whenever the menu bar item is clicked i want to call this on item tapped method so let me copy this and go to our modem navigation bar and here we'll have the on tap method and here we have the on tap properties and here i can pass the on tap on item tapped method we have created here so whenever the button uh, menu bar item is clicked here in the menu uh, bottom navigation bar it's going to call this on tap item and it's going to pass the index here and we're going to set that index to the current index and the current index is uh, reference here in the current index properties of bottom navigation bar so let me hot uh, reload this so you can see once i hot reload the application it's going to select the zero position that is we have what we have given here and now if i click on this message it's going to select the message and if i click on this profile it's going to select the profile so this is how we keep track of the item click in button navigation bar okay now the next thing that i want to do is i want to change the content of this uh, body here based on the bottom clicked okay so what i want to do is i want to create different with i want to load different widgets or different screen based on the item clicked here in the navigation bar first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a list here so list of widget so list of widget and i'm going to call this as screens okay and we're going to add the list of widgets here so i want to have the container as the list of widgets inside this uh, screen so container and here we'll pass the text so this is going to be home screen widget okay and i will change the background color so that we can see the change in our app so let me add the red color okay so colors dot red and I'm gonna copy paste the same thing and paste it two times because we have uh, three items so this is for the home screen and this one is for masses and this one is for profile okay and now I will also change the color to blue and let me add is add another one let's say l accent okay let me add the const keyword to remove this squiggly line okay now what i need to do is i need to change the widget here based on the item clicked okay so if you remember we have load this hello from home here in the body uh, section of this scaffold so here instead of loading this uh, center what i'll do is i will load the item from our screen list here so from the screen list we'll load the item based on the uh, beta, based on the item clicked in this bottom navigation bar so what we'll do we'll call the screen list and what we'll do is we'll call element add method and here we need to pass the index of the item clicked in the bottom navigation bar so we have that saved inside this current index right so current index and that's it that's how we load the different screen now you can see it is loading this profile screen and it is loading the message screen and it is loading the home screen now i want to show you guys the demo of shifting and fixed type animation we have loaded the screen based on the item click in our bottom navigation bar now what i want to do is i want to display i want to show you guys the different type of bottom navigation bar that we have so as i said in the beginning of this video we have two types of bottom navigation bar first one is fixed and second one is shifting so if we have less than less or equals to three items in our bottom navigation bar it's going to assume the type as fixed and if we have more than three items 
then it's going to assume this as a shifting type bottom navigation bar so uh, what i want to do is i want to show you guys by adding one more items here so let me add one more item and let me add one more container here as well and just to show you guys how it's going to change its type from this fixed type to shifting type so let me save this and you can see it is changing the color by default and if i click on this it's going to say the uh, range is invalid so let me reload this and let me click on this now it says profile screen widget but here you uh, you are not able to see any uh, icons because it is having white background so let me change the text color and select item text color as well so let me go back to the button navigation bar here and let me select let me change the item color of unselected button so i'm gonna change colors to yellow and we're gonna change the selected item color to green okay now you can see uh other is having yellow others items are having yellow color and the select items is having green color so let me change it to something nice so let me change it to blue so that we can see yes now you can see if we select any item it's gonna change the icon color and you can see i have not uh, specified any type here you can see i have not given any type properties but it is uh, automatically assuming it as a shifting types if we have more than three items in the bottom navigation bar so i'm gonna remove this from here and here as well and if i remove this you can see it is automatically assume assuming this button navigation type as a fixed type because we are not uh, we don't have any animation now okay but if you want to force the type then you can use the type properties here so button navigation bar type we have this shifting and fixed so if i change it to shifting now you can see the type is changed back to the shifting because we have this animation and the icon with title is not uh, the title is not displayed in the unselected navigation bar items here okay so this means we have changed the type of this button navigation bar to shifting okay and you c there are lots of other properties that you can explore so you can change the background color you can change the elevation key fix color icon size there are so many things that you can change of this bottom navigation bar you can just come here and explore these properties of bottom navigation bar so this is it for this video i hope you were able to implement this bottom navigation bar in your application as well if not and if you get stuck anywhere then let me know in the comment below and i will be more than happy to help you otherwise i will see you in the next video bye bye have a good day